My name's Rod Matthews and uh, there's a saying out there that goes something like people join organisations but they leave bosses. Uh, and this is conventional wisdom that's been borne out now by and supported by literally decades of research into leadership, engagement and performance. And so what I do is I work with leaders and leadership teams to make sure that they're not the leaders that the good people are leaving. Good people leave bosses because they are poor leaders. Many leaders were brought up through a technical area of expertise. So, you know, they were the best finance person, they were best sales person, best operations person. And the more senior you get in an organisation, the less likely it is that the way of dealing with the challenge that you're facing is going to be by implementing a technical solution. So there needs to be a shift in the way that we lead from hero to host. So gone are the days where we would do a like a, you know, a two day, we'd go to a different postcode and we'd spend two to five days off site holding hands, singing John Denver songs. Um, gone are those days. Uh, what we tend to do more now is to work with client organisations for six, 12 month periods. We almost become part of the team where we spend time in meetings with them, in their meetings, uh, and we help make sure that the conversation around performance and development are one in the same, that they regularly oscillate between application and reflection. Clients that we really like to work with are clients that recognise that people are the key to their business. The best way I think uh, people find me is in our industry, it's word of mouth, right? <laughs> um, people don't look for what it is that I do by going and doing a Google search or by looking in the yellow pages. They phone up someone they know and they trust and they say, we need someone who can help us with this do you know someone? I think the key is if you have a leadership team that has a degree of self-awareness and has an open or a growth mindset, then you've probably got the foundations to be able to work with. If you're missing one or two of those things, it's going to be a long, hard road. I think there's two key areas that you should be aware of when you're thinking about, when you're asking yourself, how well are we going? Uh, one is engagement of your team members. Uh, if your team members are choosing to spend discretionary effort in the pursuit of your organisation's goals, your troubles are going to be far fewer and you will deal with them a lot more smoothly. Uh, so that would be the first thing. Uh, the second thing that I would suggest is that while it's easy to look external for measures of success, things like revenue, profit, growth, that sort of thing, um, I would wave a flag of warning uh, and I would suggest that it's very easy if we're looking externally to then go into blame mode and to look for external factors that might be causing those things. And we become very good at justifying that it's something external that's causing those problems. So the second thing I would suggest is that a good leader is someone who asks themselves, what am I doing to contribute to this? I firmly believe that the biggest problems that we face today can all be solved with a bit of personal responsibility, good thinking and good leadership. Poverty, climate change, uh, population growth, all those issues can be addressed with those three things in place.